Hello guys, welcome to Pen Trading Cash to Spirit. My name is Vigil Glove and today we are going to do the first challenge of the Flair on 2020 CTF or yeah, Flair on Challenges 2020. The first challenge name is the Fiddler and whoopsie. Yeah. We will get this archive file which we can uh, just extract it and we will get all these files the python and the executable file which we can look how it really look like just click on it and we will get this window this program is protected by flare on turbo new b55.7 and it is asking for a password let's type spirit and we will get you done good don't pirate this game and you can read the whole thing but i'm not gonna read it here but uh, let's see what uh, message or text says welcome to the seven player on challenge this is the simple game win it by any means necessary and the victory screen will reveal the flag so it means we have to get to the victory screen enter the flag here on this side all right you get the idea right this challenge is written in the python and it is distributed as runnable exe and matching source code for your convenience you can run the source code directly on python platform with pygame if you would prefer all right we get the idea now let's have a look at the fiddler.py script let's open it in the visual studio code we have it right here okay let me just zoom in a little bit now let's see what text we are getting first the program is protected by fear on turbo new let's see where it is written um, it is right here this program is protected by fear on turbo new which is under password underscore screen function and setting the display for us and now i need to check how they are really um, checking the password that's how they are comparing it and if you will see right under right in this while loop while not done for even in pg dot event dot get then event type is equals to quit then done is equal to, which is actually false before so maybe the program will get quit and for control in controls control dot handle event okay so this is for the event handling i don't know and here if you will see if input box start submitted is um if password check underscore input box dot text so um which means it is actually uh sending whatever we will type here in this uh, text field then it will send it to the password underscore check function which is right here which is defined just above password underscore screen function and right here the way i solved this challenge was um, i opened the terminal and my Hi console and then I type Python here. Then what I did was I just um, assign uh, assign a um, variable a to hit tu and then if you will see here the return is, if the return is input is equals to key and if you will see uh, it is just joining uh, for each character in order minus one so it is actually just subtracting one from each order of the uh, each character probably in the altered key uh, then what i did was i um, made a new list 
and give it a name b so b is a new list now if you will type b then it will be it is empty right now then what we can do is we can just um start a for loop for i and a which has this hipt new value and what we can do is we can just append each of these uh, value to b now if you will type b then it has each character in the list format now we can work on it now if we will type um for i in b and we can just type print let's type first i let's see what it's printing so it is just printing the same exact thing but um, we actually need to subtract one from each order uh, we, we can do it by order and minus one and let's see now we have it in um one zero three one zero four all right and to bring them back to in the character format we can actually do this for i in b and let's get here again we can type chr and we will get ghost which means ghost and the easy way would probably be most of you guys already know because actually i'm noob i don't know much about the reverse engineering challenge but that was the way i found the key but the easiest way is definitely just copy and pasting the things that we already have means now we if we will just type key we will have ghost we don't need to do all this hustle just to get the ghost key now we have the key we can just write it the ghost and we will get to the next window which is uh click on kitty i don't know if you can see let's see yeah click on kitty to send her out to catch mice to earn money earn about 100 billion coins which is a lot man to win and reveal the flag what we can do is we can click on this kitty this little cute kitty and you can see this is the coin and this should be 100 billion coins but uh, we can actually buy the auto clicker for each 10 coin now we have 33 we can buy three auto clicker which means if we will buy one auto clicker then every second it will auto click this kitty and our coin will get increased by one but right now we have three then we can buy three more and one more yeah go on now we have five so now 16 21 26 so now you get the idea like how they are auto clicking each minute now it is clicking for five each minute we can probably buy um let's say 10 after we reach 100 let yeah now we can buy it now it is increasing the, the value 15 but uh let's see click on kitty to send her out let's see where it is written in here um here it is under the game underscore screen function click on kitty to send her out to the catch the mice to earn money well when i was looking um, for different functions that it is calling then i just saw this um, uh, this uh, while loop while not done then the target amount is this which is a lot because let's let's open the python console again yeah if we will give the exact thing here then we will get 103 billion um, value now we have this value this is the targeted amount means when we will reach this much amount uh, right here here then it will actually reveal the flag to us but 
the thing is if our current coin which is this one one two one six one two three one is greater than the targeted amount minus uh, two ratio power 20 let's see how much it is we can just copy and paste it here and it is around this uh, once ten hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh uh, ten lakh ten lakh forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six um, then it will run uh, another while loop which will actually uh, uh, the, for the current coin if, it, if they are uh, greater than or is equal to the target amount which is this plus 2 ratio power 20 which is this much then for every current coin they will minus uh, 2 ratio power 20 which is this much uh, it means I don't know if you get it or not, but it means we cannot actually go beyond this. Our um, coin will always be in between this amount to this amount. It will always be in between or is equal to this amount, and then after it, it will. Uh, reveal uh, it will actually call this victory screen which is uh, in input it is actually giving this the current points and it which is divided by this um, 10 ratio power 8 and it is sending it in the integer format let's see how much it is now we know that um, our value will be in between this 103 and in last 28 103 in last 104 which means if we will just divide it with our mm, 10 ratio power 8 in, right here then we will get uh, 1030 in the, uh, after decimal uh, this much value but it is actually sending it in the integer format then this uh, after decimal it doesn't matter because it is always sending this and 1030 means if we will just increase it with 29 it will it doesn't matter because it it will still be uh, 100 and uh, 1030 now we know that it is actually sending 1030 for here uh, in the victory screen now let's see where this victory screen is declared if you will see it is right here the victory screen with and it is the token which is nothing but the our coin which we found which was 1030 now if you can see right here the flag content underscore label is change text to um decode flag function and it is sending the same token uh, which is nothing but uh, 1030 now, now if you'll see the decode underscore flag function it is the frog frog is nothing but a token and token is nothing but a coin and the coin which value is 1030 oh man all right then our frog value will be inside the last value and this is the encoded flag and here is the decoded um, flag function which they are using uh, and they are just uh, sorting it with the last value and yeah the easiest way would be the way I did it just copy and paste the decode underscore flag function just give it flag dot pi save it and call uh, decode underscore flag with 130 and there is one more thing that we need to do which is copy it and print it out now if we will open a terminal again for the last time probably then we can actually go to desktop 
flare on 2020 flare on and the one for fiddler and cls and python and sol.py which is this script that we just copy paste it and yeah here we go we got our first flag which is idle with kitty at flareon.com so this was the way i did this challenge and yeah that's all for this tutorial guys keep watching and reading this thing with spirit and if you like then please mm, subscribe to my challenge channel and hit the like button and you can definitely follow me on uh, twitter and my instagram and you can definitely check my blog which i usually write on pwsexpert.blogspot.com my my domain just got expired which was pwsexpert.ninja but that doesn't matter and you can definitely give a for uh, give a subscribe to this uh, these two guys the john hammond and live overflow these are some legendary um youtubers i know you guys have already subscribed to him i can see right here 528k also these guys are also amazing the legendary ipsec and grinwell i don't know how to pronounce it but yeah that's all and for the next ctf you can actually find it on the ctftime.org here under the upcoming event if you don't know and maybe probably i'm gonna play this ipsec uh, uh, israel um, yeah that's all and I love reading and if you want to support me you can definitely support me on through paypal which will probably i can buy one or two books yeah that, that's it but yeah that's all for this tutorial guys uh, see you next week with the solution for the next challenge probably or any cdf challenge or whatever you guys can let me know if you want a specific video on any topic but yeah that's all see ya